Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Right off the bat on today's show. Well, we've been waited with bated breath over the new regulations that are going to be coming down the pike for the World Rally Championship. It's basically going to kind of renew the series with hybrid vehicles that are going to be in rally stages very soon. Now, the FIA has now announced a little bit more information on this particular deal, especially a new timetable that's going to go on, which we're going to get into a tad bit later. Basically, the 1600cc turbocharged four-cylinder units that we know and love inside of the WRC right now will remain, but that hybrid system is going to be going on all the cars. Now, this new hybrid system, apparently the deal has already been signed and all the suppliers are sitting waiting as it's going to be a standardized hybrid system so there's no little bit of monkey business going on with that particular system. But the timetable has actually been moved back. These regulations are supposed to be coming into effect in 2021, but now going to be moved back to 2022, basically to give the teams and the sponsors and the more regulations to actually get their minds around what this is actually going to happen for the series. Along with the possibility of some new manufacturers coming in on the list, we've heard rumors about Mitsubishi and Subaru, crosstown rivals that were in the WRC years ago, possibly could be making a comeback. So it's going to be an interesting time over the next couple of years. And then we may get to hear these official regulations by years in, possibly even at Wales Rally GB, which will be firing off in just a handful of hours. So we'll definitely keep you in tune more of what we hear. Next up on the list, all well, the folks over at Koenigsegg have been busy about breaking records. In fact, they broke a record that technically they already owned. It's the 0 to 249 miles an hour and back down to 0 record. I know, a real important record. That being said, the Regera uses something that, well, the Agera RS that actually held that record until recently doesn't have a very interesting drivetrain when it comes to its twin turbocharged 5 liter V8. But it's actually got a single speed reduction, a basically a direct drive, if you will, with no transmission inside of the machine and three electric motors, one right in the engine itself, along with two on the rear axle, one per wheel. Now, it basically allows this vehicle to kind of go one-to-one -one with its actual engine RPMs as far as the speed of the rear wheels. Those three electric engines also have a 4.5 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery setup that has 800 volts of power coursing through its veins, giving a total output of 1,500 horsepower and 1,475 pounds-feet of torque. That shuffles this nearly 3,500 pound car to 62 in just 2.8 seconds. Now again, they took the record from the Agera RS, which technically was their own record to begin with, which was 1-0 to 249 miles an hour, back down to zero in just 36.44 seconds. The Regera now holds the new record at 31.49 seconds, which apparently, according to Christian von Koenigsegg, could have been actually quicker because they actually did it in the airfield over in Sweden where their home base is, and apparently that airfield's a little bit on the rough side, so they had to kind of maneuver around some of the bumps and whatnot. If you want the breakdown for what this vehicle could actually achieve, it did 0 to 249 miles an hour in just 22.87 seconds and then did the 249 miles an hour back down to 0 in just 8.62 seconds. Now, the trick is the Esco's out there just waiting and itching to become a record breaker too, so maybe Koenigsegg is going to have some more records to be beaten here coming up very, very quickly. And last up on the list, the late Jesse Combs is back in the news because the group that she was working with on that fateful day when she lost her life in a land speed crash, the folks over at North American Eagle Project apparently are now submitting the speeds they did on the first two runs that she made that fateful day to actually make her the quickest woman on the planet. That record is actually held, well, since 1976, a lady by the name of Kitty O'Neill, who owned that particular record at 512.7 miles an hour. Miss Combs, on her initial lap, the backup run for the lap, 
did 515.346 miles an hour. On the second attempt, that particular run guarded a lap of 548 miles an hour, well, 548.432, giving her an average speed of 531.889 miles an hour. Now, this has been officially submitted to the folks over at Guinness Books World Records. They haven't come back with their official answer as of yet, but it could really happen that this woman that tragically lost her life in this jet car crash could officially become the fastest woman ever, and it'd be real interesting to see what exactly that top speed could have been. There was rumors that that car could go over 600 miles an hour, so sadly it is no more, and sadly Jesse is gone way too soon, but hopefully this record could become official coming very, very soon. We'll definitely keep you tuned more of what we hear. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs on the brand new show as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.